Why using the service route on the Palo Alto Networks Next Generation Firewall? Or you might even ask, what is it? In this video I will explain you the concept and our best practices. If this is your first time here, I'm Lars von Consigas. We call ourselves the Palo Alto Networks Experts because the Next Generation Firewall is our passion. It's what we do all day every day, migrating firewalls, providing managed services and most important, implementing security best practices. When I started to work with this box in 2010, barely anyone knew about Palo Alto Networks. But as an engineer I felt that this solution will change the world of cybersecurity. And yes, today we know it did big time, because it's one of the few security solutions that can truly secure your network. However, there's a caveat. You need to set it up in the right way in order to be effective. Because while it's awesome, it's not a magic box. So over the years we became a professional service partner for Palo Alto Networks, as well as one of a few elite authorized training centers. And was working in the field for so many years and being a trainer, I would like to share my experience with you. So over the next couple of weeks and months, we release new videos and core concepts explaining the fundamental workings of the next generation firewall, starting with the trend landscape, then deployment methods, NAT, AppID, SSL decryption, VPNs, and many more. So follow us on LinkedIn, YouTube or Twitter to stay up to date. But now let me explain you the service route. When we have our firewall, remember we have our data plane. And then we have a dedicated management plane as well, which is kind of attached to our data plane. And the management plane, think of it really as a kind of a dedicated, you know, PC or management PC with its own CPU, RAM uh, and disk. Uh, attached to the, the, the firewall. Okay, so now this management plane also has its own dedicated management interface. Okay, and this management interface, but well, probably in most networks, would just be kind of connected somehow to the internal network. So, and now all of the traffic originating from the firewall, things like, for instance, if the firewall sends out uh, a DNS query. Okay, it would be sent from the management interface, then probably in this case up here and to the DNS server, right? So this would be kind of for uh, DNS queries. Um, then if it does a software update, then again it would be kind of sent out, you know, over the internal network, out to the internet in there. Okay, now uh, you might think, okay, but that's, you know, a bit of, a, of an overhead, right? So because we are now sending traffic, um, from let's say management traffic again to the internal network in, and then again over the firewall out to the internet, right? Can we not just send it here from the internet interface straight out? And yes, we can, and that's exactly what we can use the service route for. However, now from a best practice point of view, we have such use case like this, where again, the management interface of the firewall is connected to the internal network. I would recommend you to actually leave it like this and, you know, have the management interface or have the traffic originating from the firewall really originate from the management interface of the firewall. The very simple reason is that um, with this you, you clearly separate these two functions of data plane and control plane or management plane, right? And you just kind of keep it separate and if you then run into any issues, right, you can clearly kind of troubleshoot this, you know, on the management plane or on a data plane and you kind of don't mix up the two of them, okay? However, of course, there are also kind of use cases where it absolutely makes sense uh, to use the service route and to change these interfaces. So, for instance, uh, let's imagine that you have a dedicated management So, a dedicated out-of-band management network, right? And uh, let's say then here are some management stations, okay? And effectively, the management, so the GUI and the CLI of the firewall, is only reachable via this dedicated management network because you're completely out of band and you cannot reach this from somewhere else. Obviously, from a security point of view, if you're able to kind of build such a dedicated management network, very good. That's that's a good thing, right? Um, but, you know, it always depends really on your security posture if you really need something like this um, because obviously there's uh, also kind of a drawback from an operational uh, point of view, right? But again, you know, if you have an environment like this, again, very good from a security point of view, but now you still need the firewall to, you know, send certain traffic, you know, so you still have DNS traffic to resolve things. You still need to update the firewall, so the firewall needs to access the internet. And for this, again, we can now use the service route, where we can now say, okay, right, listen, DNS traffic originates now from this interface, which we're now sending straight out, okay? So with this, you know, DNS traffic uh, is sent straight out from the data plane, out from this interface as the source 
here. Um, similarly, let's say for updates of the firewall, okay, we can then say, okay, firewall updates originate from the internet interface of the firewall, right? So that's kind of what we can use the service root for um, to, uh, to manage these things. And by the way, if you're interested in security best practices for Palo Alto Networks, then check out the blog on our webpage. Here in the best practice section, you can download this worksheet with over 120 best practices for the next generation firewall. And very soon, we will also launch a security best practice training with a lot of videos explaining all of these security best practices in detail. So if you're interested, then sign up to our mailing list and we will let you know as soon as this free training is available.